Hi everyone, welcome to today's video, 10 elegant and effortlessly chic outfits that I'm wearing on repeat. My new lookbook for 2022. I've added a couple of beautiful pieces to my capsule wardrobe recently, so I thought you might enjoy seeing how I've been styling them this spring and also looking ahead to summer. On top of that, I also have five new in Demelier London handbags to integrate into all my different outfit ideas today. I got in touch with the brand and I asked if I could borrow a selection so we could all see not only the quality and the tones that they have in their collection, but also how I could style them into my outfit ideas. So that's what we're doing today. So lots of lovely inspiration in today's lookbook, which I'm very excited to share with you all. So first up is this very stunning handbag, the Midi New York. Now this is what I would consider to be the perfect everyday chic and modern tote. The shape and those folds are hugely elegant and original, and yet there's a really timeless quality to it as well. So in honor of such a classic timeless silhouette, I wanted to complement that with my outfit idea. So here you can see I went for quite a tonal navy look with a beautiful blouse and tailored trousers. I love those loafers tying in with the handbag and overall it feels chic and elegant, yet easy for every day. Practicality wise for me on a day-to-day -day basis, it's definitely large enough to get my laptop into. And despite the size being really helpful and large, it's not actually a heavy bag, if that makes sense. So we're off to a good, if not worrying start for my bank balance. The Midi New York has definitely stolen my heart. Now, when I first spotted the Midi New York, I was toying with either the taupe or the light tan shade. I couldn't decide which was my favorite. So I opted to try out the Alexandria in light tan instead. And as you can see, sat beside the Midi New York, it's a little easier to compare. This one is very much a dark beige, a light camel tone, I would say. Now the Alexandra is a crossbody bag made from soft quilted leather. It has this flap opening at the... <laughs> Sorry, it's quite tough. It's got this flap opening at the front here, and then inside you've got a small zip pocket. Very minimalist and very elegant. So firstly, in this lookbook, I've styled the Alexandria here with a suit that I'm actually wearing throughout this video. However, worn slightly differently with those added touches of beige. I actually really love the juxtaposition of textures with the matching belt and mules set against that soft leather of the handbag. I think it gives the outfit more depth and interest. As always, I shall link everything I'm wearing in the description box below. Size-wise, the Alexandria is larger than you might first think. I have my very overstuffed purse here, and as you can see, once that's inside, there's still lots of room in the bag without altering the shape at all. I will share another outfit idea with this one a little bit later in this video, but for now, this is definitely one way I would style it on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I actually chose the Verona as a typical clutch bag. So it was a happy surprise when I realized it also has this detachable strap, which you can wear on your shoulder or as a crossbody bag too. So you've got lots of options. So running with this theme of a day to night clutch, I've dressed it up in something I think I might wear for our upcoming wedding anniversary celebrations. Getting out my old favorite leather trousers, an even older but hugely timeless Prada top, and a classic blazer layered over the top. It feels hugely effortless, a tiny bit sexy, yet obviously in a very understated fashion. My favorite kind of style. Don't forget to let me know your favorite handbag out of all of these that I'm sharing in the comments section below. Now, so far I'm thinking the Midi New York for work, the Alexandria for meeting friends, going out for lunch, and the Verona for evenings. So not really any closer to choosing a favorite, to be honest, do let me know yours. So this is a Demelier classic, the Vancouver crossbody bag. I've chosen to take a look at it in the off-white, which is absolutely beautiful, but it is also available in eight different shades. So in this first outfit idea with the Vancouver, I've styled it with a few favorite classics. One of my Breton stripe tops that I do seem to wear on repeat, layered with my new in, but equally timeless navy trench coat. In fact, those sandals are so incredibly versatile, they could have a lookbook all to themselves. 
panels. The bag itself feels more structured than, say, the shape of the Alexandria, so I don't think you're ever going to lose that shape. For women, I honestly believe that choosing a handbag is a lot like choosing a perfume. There is no right or wrong, we all like something different. The problem, of course, with Demelier is choosing just one. Can we just take a moment for a little chair appreciation? If it wasn't already a thing, it really should be. This little beauty was very kindly sent to me from a Scandinavian brand called By Crea. Now I was genuinely looking for some new furniture in my studio so I can film my videos. And then By Crea got in touch and asked if I would like to choose a couple of their pieces. Now they were exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. So naturally I jumped at the chance. I've actually chosen a small coffee table, which will kind of sit here here. But as you've probably gathered, patience is not exactly my strong point, so I had to use the chair straight away even though the table's not arrived yet. I love the contemporary clean lines that they do predominantly throughout their range. It's really comfortable and as you can see it fits perfectly with my light and my rail that I already have in my room. I love it. I have added links to everything as usual in the description box below. I was really interested in taking a look at Demelier's shade of olive as it can really vary so much from brand to brand. So I decided to try it out with their Scandinavian inspired handbag called the Helsinki. Now like the Vancouver, this handbag is more structured in shape and sleek and minimal in its design. And their shade of olive, in my humble opinion, is absolutely spot on. It's not too sickly green, if you know what I mean, but not too dark either. Just somewhere in that perfect, elegant middle. For this lookbook, I wanted to firstly share how you could easily make this very sophisticated and structured handbag work for everyday chic as much as you could for smarter events. Dressing it down in what you hopefully agree in a really effortlessly chic fashion with jeans, a classic tee, floaty trench coat and relaxed high top trainers. The bag instantly polishes looks like this and makes the whole vibe feel more elevated. The Helsinki is for those who love a sprinkle of minimalism in their outfit ideas. It's sophisticated and sleek and effortlessly chic, but not at all overpowering. A beautiful everyday bag. Now, while we're thinking of everyday elegant chic, I did want to quickly mention the Maxi Santorini basket bag. Now, sadly, they didn't have stock when I borrowed these bags for this lookbook, so I can't show it you in person. However, take a look at these images. How stunning is this bag? The perfect effortlessly chic straw bag for your spring summer outfit ideas that I would most certainly wear on repeat all season. Love that one. Back to another outfit idea with the Midi New York. Inspired by the designer's love of the amazing city, its architecture, and of course, its people. For this outfit idea, I've gone for more of a breezy spring vibe. Relaxed yet tailored with those linen trousers and a beautiful floaty cutout blouse to add another texture into the mix. That blouse is back in stock actually with a very similar design. So I shall link that in the description box below. I think the trick to looking effortlessly chic in your own outfits is to think hard about the textures you actually invest in. Natural fibers by their very nature simply look more natural overall. So I'd much rather save my own pennies for these sorts of compositions for my wardrobe. If I could sum up what that magical, almost mystical vibe of effortlessly chic really is, it would be this in a handbag. For me, it's just perfect in every way. Now a slight swerve now, but some of you might remember that I toyed with the idea of arranging some sort of meetup at the Cezanne store in London. Well, I am very pleased to announce that it's finally going to happen. On the 17th of June, between 7 and 9.30 p.m., Cezanne and I will be hosting an event at their London store. Getting a chance to meet some of you in real life, we can have a good girly chit chat, try on some new pieces in store, and hopefully I can offer a few styling tips along the way. I can't wait. There will be champagne, a little bit of food, an exclusive discount of course, and I shall do a bit of a chat about the new collection, and then we can all have a bit of a try on and style some pieces together. 
So a very exciting cocktail evening with one of my favorite Parisian brands and getting to meet some of you gorgeous ladies finally too. Now the downside sadly is that space is very limited. So the fairest way I could see doing this would be on a first come first serve basis. So I've set up a page where you can order an invite and it's absolutely free and I've added a link to that in the description box below. Like I mentioned before, when the tickets are gone, they're gone. But if there is a lot of interest and you do lose out this time, don't worry, I shall try and do it again some point this year. So for those who do want to come, the link is below and I am really looking forward to meeting some of you there. Another outfit idea with the Alexandria now and definitely something I've been wearing on repeat since I bought it, one beautiful midi skirt. Now I deliberately kept this outfit very sleek and minimal to allow that bag to be the star of the show. It stands out for all the right reasons and I think it completes the look perfectly. When we think about how to keep your outfits feeling effortlessly chic, I often start with pieces that I feel most comfortable in. Try not to overthink it. What do you love and what do you feel nice in? Sandals keep the look chilled and there's a casual yet polished feel overall. Heading back to the Verona now in this lookbook, but I really wanted to share how nicely a beautiful clutch can work in the daytime as much as it does at night. Well, it's obviously not as easy to carry a clutch as it is throwing a bag over your arm or your shoulder. It has to be said that it does look very effortlessly chic when you're holding it like that in the daytime. It's one of those strange quirks, uh, a bit like wearing your coat over your shoulders, that suddenly elevates an outfit. I'm not really sure why it works so well, but it really does. Styling some of my classic staples here that I tend to wear on repeat on a day-to-day -day basis. A beautifully made t-shirt, my favorite straight leg jeans, and when needed, I simply layer a blazer over my shoulders for added warmth. Having a great pair of expensive looking flats really helps to keep these kind of casual looks feeling more chic. Though when I say expensive looking, we're not talking about blowing the budget. I bought these from the high street, but the texture and tone definitely makes them feel more luxurious than their price tag. And on the flip side of using your clutch in the daytime, I wanted to share how beautiful your classic crossbody bag could be for the evening instead. I know, I know, I really should have put some heels on with this, but I really try and share my real outfit ideas. And those who have got to know me well on my channel will know that I love flats with dresses like this. It just tones down that whole short dress vibe to being something that I'm far more comfortable wearing. I think it looks really effortless, but obviously if you prefer to glam these sorts of looks up a bit, a strappy mid heel would work beautifully too. I forgot to mention before, but the Helsinki is available in no less than eight different shades, including a really beautiful combination with raffia and those black leather trims. Such an elegant take on a raffia bag, with the comfort, of course, of those leather straps. But here with the olive version, I've opted for a smart but casual outfit, something I'd wear to meetings or you could easily make work for the office. Obviously, it's more dressed up than the look before with the Helsinki bag, but with that undeniable relaxed vibe shining through, which I really like. As it happens, that oversized silk shirt is proving to be a new staple in my wardrobe. I love that slightly slouchy fit, contrasting against such a gorgeous fabric. I really hope you've enjoyed watching my 10 elegant and effortlessly chic outfit ideas that I'm wearing on repeat. And this lookbook has given you lots of inspiration and ideas of outfits you could recreate for yourself. I want to say a huge thank you to Demelier for letting me share their beautiful collection on my channel. It's been an absolute pleasure and worryingly, my shopping list just got a whole lot larger. All the handbags are linked in the description box below. Don't forget to let me know not only your favorite handbag that I've shared, but also your favorite way I've styled it today. And of course, if you have any other questions about their collection, do let me know in the comments and I'm only too happy to help if I can. Also, if you do want to meet me and come to my event with Suzanne in London, don't forget to grab your invite early via the link below and also take a look at that beautiful furniture collection by Korea. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you know how grateful I am for all your support, all your comments, your likes, and everyone who subscribed really makes this channel an absolute pleasure to create. So a huge thank you to you. I shall be back on Sunday with a very exciting video. So hopefully you'll join me for that. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Take care.